What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now today's video is going to be a good vlog that I've been waking and I've been uh, waiting to make for a little bit and as the title gives away I'm going to give you my thoughts on the first year of medical school having just finished the first year of medical school about two weeks ago. So uh, first year of medical school was long. It was like it went from August until uh, June. So it took a while. It's a long year. It's longer than your second year um, and it's really a time of learning um, and yes you do learn curricula you do learn from your textbooks and lectures and PowerPoints but what I mean is it's really a time of learning outside of the academics um, so that's what I'm going to focus on today and I'm going to give you my thoughts and I'm also going to tell you some things that I would have liked to know as an incoming MS1 um, starting school so I'm going to share those ideas with you today so first and foremost, how was the first year of medical school? Was it fun? Was it exciting? Was it horrible? Was it boring? Did I lose all my hair? Not so much. Um, the first year of medical school, as I said, it's long. So really it's, it's kind of just this long path you just have to go through to learn a lot about how you study, how you work in medical school, what medical school is like, what the expectations are, how you need to be thinking and learning. It's really a time of discovery. And I remember, uh, so at my school we have this big sib, little sib program where the incoming MS1s, little sibs, are paired with a newly minted MS2, big sibs. And, you know, it's like you have, like, this older brother or sister or whatever, and, like, they can give you advice on, you know, how to handle first year. And some of you may be thinking, what is so special about first year that we need, you know, all this advice? Why is this guy making a video? I mean, I don't need a big sib. Let's just get in there and study. Um, yeah, I mean, med school is nothing different than anything else. You just study. It's just this transition from uh, college style to medical school style. It just takes some getting used to. The amount of information is much greater. It just gets some, you know, takes some getting used to. And it's not bad to have someone kind of give you advice to make that transition easier. So that's what the whole Big SIP program is. That's why I'm making this video to make the transition easier if you can, if I can for you. So when I met with my Big SIB in the beginning of the year, uh, the key thing he told me is the first year of medical school is simply about just learning how you study, learning how you know you handle medical school, how you handle going to lecture, notes, reading text. It's all about just getting used to it, getting a pattern down that works for you. Um, and I didn't believe him at the time. I was like, man, I gotta take me a whole year or even half a year to uh, get this down. Well, he was right. <laughs> it took quite a while. Uh, for me, it took me almost about half a first year to get down my system cold, to have complete confidence in myself, um, and to just know that I can do well and really focus on the academics. And that kind of, you know, it, it's it's kind of this, it's annoying in a way because the you know the material that I learned from the second half of the course, you know, you feel, man, I know that stuff well. But the first half of the course, you're like, I don't know it all that well, because uh, you know you're kind of distracted in the beginning. You have this notion that you, when you start medical school, you keep telling yourself, well, I'm in medical school, I've been waiting to get here. Uh, now that I'm here, what's it like? What do I do? Oh God, I'm in medical school. I'm in lecture. You know, it's like all these unnecessary things just like come into your head. Um, that are just distractions, really. And your classmates will not cease to be distractions. They will be distractions because I can guarantee you if you're thinking about something in medical school regarding how you feel, everyone else is as well. So everyone's kind of panicky. Everyone's kind of nervous. It's just how it goes. So he was right, and this is, a, you know, you do spend a large majority of first year getting used to medical school, getting used to the style of teaching, the amount of material you're responsible for, the level of detail you're responsible for, and uh, it just takes time to get used to because every class is different. So uh, regarding what classes I took first year, um, I just kind of wrote them down real quick. Uh, biochem and histo. Uh, my school's pretty nice. In the beginning, you just take, um, for like the first like, couple weeks, you just take biochemistry and histology that to kind of ease you into it. You know, kind of basic kind of molecular cell stuff, so it's not too hard, but it's like it's a nice little ease in. Then they throw in physio, they throw in immuno, they throw in genetics. Um, and then, you know, then they throw in some neuroscience, anatomy, embryology, and at my school throughout the entire year you have like this doctoring course that teaches you how to, ta uh, how to do like a complete history and a complete physical exam. And uh, if you guys remember that video I made, a guide to the complete physical exam, link in the description. I'm kidding. Uh, but you know, if that, that was just some of the cool things you get to learn. So that's kind of a really fun class. It's more of just like this, to me it was more of like a luxury, luxury break to have like this doctoring course. Um, but 
all schools have it and almost every school has the same first year curricula. Uh, my school has neuroscience in the first year, some have it in second year. Makes no difference whenever you take it. Neuroscience was a really fun course, so look forward to it. All right, so biochemistry, histo, my school is nice. They ease you into it in the beginning to kind of give you content that you've probably seen before and to kind of help you adjust. So. How can you adjust? You're an incoming MS1, you're thinking, or you know, you're a high school, I don't know, you're a college student applying, whatever, and you're like, man, I'm going to medical school soon. Um, how do I think about this? How do I prepare, prepare? So as a person who just finished, here's like the couple things I just want to make, got to keep this video short, um, couple points to take home. Number one, ex just, just accept the fact that the first year is going to take a little bit of time for you to transition. Um, I'm sure you did well in college. I'm sure you were really highly efficient and you had great output and you thought, man, nothing can stop me now. Well, the reality is when you go to medical school, you're going to be surrounded by a hundred so people who have the exact same mindset as you. They're used to being, you know, doing really well in school. So, and the reality is you can't all do amazing. Um, you can all do well, but not everyone can be number one in class because only one of you can. Um, so you have to get that out of your mind that, you know, I need to be number one, I need to be number one. Um, you know, it's going to kill you. Just try your best. Literally just focus on internalizing the material because come the end of second year, when you take USMLE step one, you're going to be happy that you internalized well as opposed to just cramming and getting a high test score. Focus on internalizing, focus on knowing the material well, and you'll do well in the class. You don't have to worry. Don't, you, you don't, I mean, you can work as hard as you want. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm great if you do, but don't pull your hair out if you don't get um, it, an exact score you wanted every time. If you know the material, you know, go on. The first year of medical school, it's true as they say, it's a marathon. Um, you know, don't, you can't sprint this. Just, you know what, if you didn't do as great as you wanted to on something or whatever happened, just, you know, close that chapter and go on to the next. There's plenty of race left ahead of you. Just keep on running. Don't, don't get yourself down unnecessarily. So that's the key. You have to keep your mindset focused that this is going to be a transition year. I just need to work the best I can and get comfortable in medical school. Um, some of you will do this quickly. Some of you will do it a little slower. doesn't matter. Just get it done and uh, do it well. Second thing, and this is the most important, if you didn't listen to anything I said at all, listen for the next like one minute. This is the most important thing that you need to do as a first year medical student. And that is not care about how people around you are doing. Um, and you, you may be thinking, well, I, why would I do that? I never did that in college. Well, yeah, you didn't because it's not you don't really need to in college. I mean, most likely you did really well in college, so there weren't many people where you know to the right of the bell curve of you, so you didn't really worry that much. Uh, the reality is in medical school, everyone wants to be at the top of the you know right part of the bell curve. So there's just like this inherent kind of stress, and you'll be always be like you'll know how other people are doing. The sooner you stop caring how others are doing and you just worry about yourself, you will just be enjoying medical school. And I know that sounds like a minor point. You're like, that's the most important thing you wanted to tell me, man, that's it? Yeah, you would be surprised how many people continuously worry about how others are doing. And I never did it in college, but it kind of creeps up in medical school. And it's kind of this natural thing that I've noticed a lot of my classmates have as well. So don't worry about it. Um, you may not be worried about it now, but who knows, it could creep up on you when you start medical school. Don't worry about how the guy to the left of you or the person in front of you or the girl behind you is doing. Just worry about yourself because in the end, you're going to be practicing. It's just you. You're not going to have your colleagues around to compete with you and tell you how great. You're going to be seeing your patients. You're responsible for them. Take care of yourself. Don't worry about competing with everyone else. It's just going to get into your head, and that's what you don't need. So that's kind of the theme. Don't let unnecessary th things thoughts, you know, whatever's get into your head that can distract you. You want to be like at a real cool, humble pace, just completely comfortable so you can study well. So keep that in mind. That is the most important thing. The second thing I kind of want to um, just finish up here, I want to take on a myth that you'll hear in medical school. Um, I heard it before medical school that um, learning in medical school is like drinking water from a fire hydrant or sipping water I don't know, something like that and the whole analogy is you know the amount of material you're gonna learn in medical school it is a lot yes it's a lot more than college 
but to be completely honest with you, it's completely manageable. Uh, and I'm not just joking around. I'm not like some superstar student. I'm not. And I just work hard like everyone else. But that's the key. Everyone worked hard in medical school. There are no superstars. There may be one or two. But for the most part, everyone works hard. Everyone's just really dedicated. And we all do well because we all just put in the hours, put in the time. So here's a little link to the video uh, about how you can completely make medical school manageable. It's not some secret thing. It's not some weird advertisement thing. It's just simple common sense, and I know it's embarrassing, of just how to handle things and medical school work out real easy. But so, but that's a different video you can click on uh, there. But regarding this whole aspect of there's so much material coming at you, um, you, you, it's like drinking water from a fire hydrant. You can't just sit and take it all on the front. You're gonna be like blown away. You gotta come in from the side and take sips. And I believed that in the beginning, and it didn't quite turn out to be true. Yes, you can't learn everything as a medical student, but you can learn a whole lot. Don't let anyone fool you into thinking you just need to know some material. If something is presented in lecture, you have to know everything, every little sentence. Because the reality is what you think, oh, this is not important, this won't be tested, but bam, you come in on Monday, take a test, that's tested. You're like, oh, this isn't even important. Yeah, but that's because they know you studied the main material and they're kind of annoying you with some little details. So whatever you think is not important, let me guarantee you, it's going to be tested at some point. So learn everything that you're lectured on. It's kind of like quintessential. And once you've got that down, then you can kind of add on layers of adding more from the textbook, adding more from other layers, I mean, from other resources. So that's the key. Don't let anyone trick you into thinking, oh, you don't need to learn that much in medical school. Get the general idea. You're not going to be tested on general ideas. You're tested on details. They want you to learn a lot, hence why it's kind of tough. But Watch that video about how to make it manageable, but don't let anyone trick you into thinking it's kind of like, oh, whatever, learn a little bit. No, no, no. You got to sit down, crank out the hours, and get a ton of details in addition to the big picture. Um, in the beginning, I believe the fact that, oh, I'll get a general idea. Nope, I was wrong. Uh, you need to get all the details because you're tested on all of it. So don't make that mistake I did. Um, the myth to me kind of not so accurate. You really do need to sit kind of more in front of that fire hydrant and take in a lot of the fluid. Just take in a lot of that material. Don't come in for little sips on the side. Try to get yourself as much in there as you can. Of course, don't try to memorize the entire textbook. That's not smart. But, you know, add in layers as, you know, more time comes up with you so you can study harder. All right, guys, that's been my thoughts on the first year of medical school. The video's already getting kind of long. I've been chatting a lot. But uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, I enjoyed the first year of medical school. It went well. Um, I'm excited for second year. M leave a video response. I don't know. Leave a comment. Leave a message. Do whatever you want. I'll somehow figure it out on YouTube. And uh, look forward to responses and enjoy that video on how to make med school manageable. And uh, as always, guys, enjoy your studies.